Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here. Um, I just wanted to take a second to let you know about something that I've just discovered. Um, apparently it's been around for a while, um, but it's an awesome way of filtering out the excessive amount of search results on Google that turn up social media and shopping outlets allowing you to search deeper into the internet and find more uh, informational content. So this applies to any site. Basically, you can see here the results that I've put in for Brother Scan and Cut UK. In fact, let's take out UK. Let's just do Brother Scan and Cut. It's something that I talk about a lot on this channel and on my blog, but again, this applies for really anything you're searching for. So we can see that the first one is a Brother website, which is great. We've got another Brother website here, but third result down and we're already creeping into Amazon. Um, so let's see how we can get rid of that. So we type minus the word site, S-I-T-E, then a colon, and then you type in the domain name that you want to exclude. So in my case, amazon.com, and I'm going to do, because obviously I'm in the UK, it may um, sort of default from, I always get .com and .co.uk. So basically I'm chopping out both by doing this. So if I now do that search again, you can see the ads aren't at the top. We've got three brother websites as the top three search results. Then we've got canvasworkspace.com. Then we've got a shop. And then we've got more brother websites. Now we've got Facebook here. Let's get rid of that. We can add again, minus site, colon, facebook.com. Do the search again. We've got the same results that we had before, but this time the Facebook link has gone. So we've now got an extra one here. This is from creatingcraft.tv, which is a shop. If we didn't want to go shopping, we just wanted more information. Creatingcraft. I think it was .tv, wasn't it? Uh, Creatingcraft.tv, but it's blog. So let's make sure we add that. Minus site blog. Did it get rid of it? Yes, it did, but it's brought in eBay. So let's add on that minus, oops, no space, site, colon, ebay.com. And again, because I'm in the UK, I am going to add on ebay.co.uk. In fact, I'm also going to just add site, colon, etsy.com. And again, site, colon, etsy.co.uk. Now, you don't have to type this every single time. You could always just copy and paste this from another document. So don't think that, you know, every time you do this, you have to retype this. So now when we get down there, we've got, yep, we've got rid of it all. Uh, we've got another shop here, make a superstore. You know what? Whichever stores you want to keep, just obviously don't type them in the top bar. Whichever you do, uh, whichever you want to get rid of, just type them in the top bar and they'll be gone. The same applies for any other informational websites or any other sites, really. Just make sure that it's, you know, the, the site name and dot whatever, and that it's basically as it appears in the address bar. So where you've got blog dot or brother dot or whatever, just make sure it's exactly as you see it in the address bar. Okay, I hope that helps you get deeper into the internet and find more relevant information for whatever you are searching for. But for now, that's me done. Bye.